I wanted to do a video basically on this term. Okay, so since I was on Nitpick Alley back in 2014, 15, no, I was on Lipstick Alley back in the day, a long time ago, and the thing was, um, I must still be on there today. Same old raggedy old channel, or But, what happened was, I made the silly mistake after uh, Trump got elected, basically. I posted about my whole situation and how I made it to where I made it to in 2016 to vote for Donald Trump. And I've said this before, I'm Donald Trump supporter, I voted for him back in the day. Um, and they just got so mad at me. And mostly what I was talking about was like um, the justice, Scalia. Justice Scalia died. It broke my heart when he died, honestly. Coming in from work, I heard that he died, and it was so depressing to me that he died. You know, it's so funny how. Only like five years, and I'm kind of like at this point where I kind of can't wait for Thomas to die because you know I just want to taste a little bit of his medicine. But anyway, that's a whole different story. Um, my point was on Lipstick Alley, I got run off, basically. But before I did, in the very beginning at Lipstick Alley, I used to talk um, about the term exotic. You know, and that's where I learned that black people see exotic as having light skin. So, so weird. Because it was like, why would having light skin be exotic? Like, the term exotic to me, and what it means, if you look it up, is appearing foreign, appearing different, you know, than the normal population. Now, what is the normal population racially? Let's just be completely honest here. What race is the majority in America? White American. What color is their skin? White. is isn't brown. Not light brown, not yellow, not tan, but white. But so how the hell can any white skin be exotic? It confuses me like my mother like the skin color. But in a way, yes. Is dark skin really exotic? Like, to me, a dark skin is definitely not exotic. Because black Americans are, you know, most of the time considered dark skin, I would say. Well, dark or brown skin. And the thing is, is that, you know, in our country, the majority of people are either white or black. In our history, we've had white and black people. We've had Native American people in our history. So, I don't see how someone who is black can be, like, who is, like, white or just black, for example, as specifically exotic in America. To me, I don't see white Americans as exotic, and I don't really see black Americans as exotic. I don't see black Americans as exotic that are, you know, especially the ones of typical phenotype. And if you look at the typical black American, for one, people always like to think of black Americans as black. I think that comes back to the whole white supremacy idea where they didn't want to think of black 
people as having any white in them, even though they physically put the white in them. So it's like, you did it yourself, yet you're trying to act like you didn't do it. But the point is, you know, they, that's what they did in the history. But it doesn't change what it is. And that's the thing with black Americans, when they take the DNA test, on average, they are 78% black. So they're 78% black on average and 22% Indian or Irish, usually in the British Isles area. Sometimes they have West European as well. Um, in my case, I have Scandinavian, I have Baltic, as you saw in my last um, video, you can see that I actually have like Baltic, Scandinavian, I have a lot of Eastern European, and then I have, um, I, on my other tests, it actually does show that I have Northern European stuff, like English, Irish, but I also have, like, uh, some Iberian, too. But I always get confused if the Iberian is kind of confused with something else, but, um, you know, you never really know with these DNA results and DNA tests. Point is... Sorry about that, I got a little cut off there, but um, a normal look is going to be black and English, uh, but basically a combination of black and English, basically, because that's what generally black Americans are. Sometimes, every now and then, somebody got 1% Native American. <laughs> they usually don't have that much Native American. It's usually English descent, things of that nature. Um, so, because of that, to me, I think when people talk about people being exotic just for a skin tone being lighter, it's weird to me because it's like, one, white Americans have white skin, they're light, so obviously that's not exotic, because that's the majority of the look. If you understand what exotic means, it will show you that obviously that's not exotic. It can't be if the majority of people have that look, that's not what exotic means. Um, but on top of it, it's like the whole idea of mixed people being exotic, to me, is weird. Because a lot of the time, people don't realize that, you know, the average white American is English descent and German descent and some Irish. The average black American is basically black and English, Irish, things of that nature. So with that whole combination, how can that be exotic when the average black American is a mix of black and English? And the average well, the average white person is English, you know, to say. So then someone who's mixed with black and white, half and half, if they were mixed with black American and white American, how would that bring on something exotic when both categories are not exotic categories because they are just the typical people in our country that have always been in our country? Cat black Americans and we cat white Americans. So I don't really get that. Now, what I think of as exotic is more so something that looks foreign, okay? And that could be any race. When it comes to black people, I would say get darker hairs, 
technically are exotic because they're not prominent in our society. Like, who is... On average, we don't have people that dark. And what I'm saying by dark skin, I'm not saying the average dark skin black person. So don't think, don't flatter yourself just by me saying that it's more exotic for some dark skin people. I'm not saying all dark skin people. I'm saying the very dark skin, like the Sudanese people and the Senegalese people and things of that nature. Of course, their phenotype and their skin tone would technically be exotic because most people in America aren't that color. Just that. I also think that it, being exotic or looking exotic is way more than just a skin tone. But, I mean, I've seen a lot of people try and claim that I'm exoticals and exotic specific to someone being lighter skinned, which we got to, because it's like white people aren't exotic in America, white Americans, no, Eastern European, yes, they are exotic, because the majority of white people aren't Eastern European. But I'm going to actually show a video of people I think that are exotic, that are not black at all, because I think as far as the exotic look in general outside of black people, I think that's, I think there's a deeper meaning to that when it comes to mixed people. And I want to compare exotic people to light skinned black people and mixed people, basically. So, some of these people, I would say, of the African race are exotic to me because they, not just because of their skin tone, but because of their facial features. You do not see these type of very ethnic African features on a black woman of any complexion. And that's what makes them so strongly exotic, basically, because you don't see that look on black people generally, because black Americans are not just Africans, they are Sorry about that, was a little interrupted, but yeah, black Americans are uh, basically a mixture of black and English. Um, so their look is not the same as the African people I'm showing. Also, you know, another unique look, I think, um, East Africans have a very unique look, and you can see that they have a very exotic look, no matter if they're dark or light skin. And I wanted to show that as well. Obviously, you don't see the average black American light skinned or dark skinned that look like Ethiopian women. You don't see anyone light skin or dark skin that look like the Nigerian women or Sudanese women or Senegalese women or Cameroonian women that I posted either. Because on average, black Americans don't look like them, basically. And that's basically what makes them look exotic. And that's what I like about their look. An ideal look to me. Also, I wanted to point out some mixed people, and I think actually I'll show that in another video. But I will show a video of mixed people I do think about it specifically. But I don't think just specifically a black American plus a white American will make someone not. If anything of the black race, mainly when I say exotic, I usually mean someone who looks less African and has exotic features of a West African woman, or they have East African features, and they look exotic in that regard. I do not say it because they look mixed. I don't get why I would think exotic would have to do with mixed race. 
white ancestry is a very common ancestry. It's more common than African ancestry. Black Americans are very common too, and they've been in our history for a very long time. So putting those two together, white American plus black American is not exotic to me. That's just my view. And the same goes for a, a light skinned black person because a light skinned black person is generally someone who is black and you know, English descent. Someone some black Americans are exotic looking though, just like anyone can, like I said, be. And many of the time you'll look in their heritage and they have something different. Maybe Asian, maybe Middle Eastern. You know, maybe they are um more of West African heritage, because some people are have more West African heritage. Someone could be like 97% West African and look actually like they're 100%, you know. So those are ways someone could look exotic, but not specifically just by being lighter than the average Black American, because most people aren't even Black American. Most people are lighter than the average Black American. So understand the definition of exotic and basically, you know, I would say a, attach that to the specific phenotype you're talking about, but not just something you actually think you like or something of that nature. To you. If you just favor someone's phenotype, that's different from actually saying someone is exotic. Exotic means foreign, means, um, you know, not looking like everybody else, basically. So, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Bye.